Right now, the world's biggest carbon capture facility is being built in Texas at a cost of $1 billion. But even for $1 billion, it can only store 500,000 tons of carbon per year. However, in a much, much more really impactful discovery, scientists have found a breakthrough material that can store greenhouse gases even faster than trees. The researchers have used computer simulations in other words, artificial intelligence, to accurately predict how molecules would assemble themselves into this new porous material. They're saying it could be an absolute game changer for getting rid of an incredible amount of greenhouse gas at a fast pace. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Scientists have hailed the exciting discovery of a type of porous material that can store carbon dioxide. The research published in the journal Nature Synthesis saw a team led by scientists at Harriet Watt University in Edinburgh create hollow cage-like molecules with high storage capacities for greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and sulfur hexafluoride. Sulfur hexafluoride is a more potent greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide and it can last thousands of years in the atmosphere. It's very hard to get rid of. Dr. Mark Little, who jointly led the research, said, this is an exciting discovery because we need new porous materials to help solve society's biggest challenges. For example, direct air capture of carbon dioxide is increasingly important because even when we stop emitting carbon dioxide, there's still gonna be a huge need to capture previous emissions that are already in the environment. Planting trees is a very effective way to absorb carbon, but it's very slow. So we need a human intervention, like human-made molecules, to capture greenhouse gases efficiently from the environment more quickly. And when I say more quickly, I mean really, really quickly. The researchers used computer simulations to accurately predict how molecules would assemble themselves into the new porous material, a method which Dr. Little said could be further enhanced in future through the use of artificial intelligence. He said combining computational studies like ours with new AI technologies will create an unprecedented supply of new materials to solve the most pressing societal challenges. And this study is a clear step in the right direction into you know, removing a lot of these toxic gases from the atmosphere. If you're able to use AI tools to predict those quicker and more accurately, then we can really accelerate the rate at which we can discover these new types of porous materials without actually having to make any of them in the lab beforehand. Dr. Little described the study as an important step to developing other materials and added that molecules with complex structures could also be used to remove toxic compounds known as volatile organic compounds from the air and could play an important role in medical science. Now, speaking of medical science, I mean, some of these compounds in the air, they have clear links to cancer, such as emissions from diesel cars, even from petrol cars now. So it's possible they can use these materials potentially put them on like walls on highways and things. But either way, it's possible we can actually remove some of these emissions from the atmosphere to prevent you from breathing them in the air and then obviously getting some of the horrendous diseases that these are causing. He said, we see this study as an important step towards unlocking these applications in the future. As well as scientists at Harriet Watt, the study involved researchers from the University of Liverpool, Imperial College London, the University of Southampton, and East China University of Science and Technology. The project was funded by the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council and the Leverholm Trust. And they're saying that it's only going to be probably a matter of a couple of years before these materials that they've discovered um, can efficiently soak up carbon from the atmosphere at a faster pace than trees. Now, this isn't to say that planting trees is not a good idea. It's a brilliant idea. I mean, we now have drones that are doing tree planting. You've probably seen some of the, the videos around that show these amazing drones capacity to shoot seeds into the ground at the correct level where these trees can grow. But of course, it does take time for trees to grow. That said, I think the more space that we find, we can create these new forests in, where we can you know, grow trees all over the world. I think that's probably a really good natural solution. I personally am a big fan of that. I think I'm a big, more of a fan of that than what I am, you know, coming up with these synthetic materials to absorb carbon. I think the natural way could maybe be an even better solution. That said, maybe we do need to speed it up because it is getting urgent. I mean, global warming, 
warming is speeding up in Europe at a drastic pace. In fact, warming has doubled in pace compared to the rest of the world in Europe. So you can see why Europe is getting very concerned about this pretty significant issue. Thanks for watching.